Guten Morgen. I got blasted out of my tent. I think I woke up just five minutes before the alarm clock, which was half past eight. Oh, my hair, man. I want to wait until I get home because I don't want to see my hair cut or something. So I'm going to wait with cutting my hair, but it's going to be quite a mess. Anyways, the sun came up on that side, so that's not great. Anyways, for the rest, good night's sleep. Woke up once to pee. And uh, yeah, for us, it's pretty good. Look at the hair, man. I got so much food. Look at this. I'm gonna eat this now, as well as this one. Today's not gonna be a long day. I'm gonna go to the city of Ostrava. I've got a pension book this time. It's quite weird. Like, I, I was trying to find a hostel or something, like super cheap, and the cheapest option was actually a pension. There were still two hostels, but that was 20 euros a night, and the pension is just 15 euros a night. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> just go for the pension. So I'll get, I'll get my own room tonight. It's good. I can charge my stuff again. And yeah, for the rest, it's gonna be another scorcher today, actually. It's gonna be a hot one. Anyways, I'm gonna eat breakfast. See you on the bike. All right, today we're gonna cross into our last country for Europe for quite a while. Did I expect this? Not really. I thought I was gonna be able to do a bigger chunk of Europe in this time, but fortunately, it's not possible. I think it would have been possible if the web development thing went a bit faster, you know? If it took less time. But of course, when you cycle right now, I won't be able to like answer emails or work on websites or anything. And it will be hella dangerous. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, had to make a decision to get a window of time to work on that. While not losing my spirit by being in winter. Because I know out of experience that winter can do weird things with me at times. And it's not, not just winter, but I think the whole circumstance of being at home and not really having any people that are on the same page as you, around you, can play with your mind sometimes. So anyways, that's, uh, that's why I made this decision. Take the leap of faith and uh, yeah, relocate myself to Australia. So that's the plan and uh, I want to make the most of my time here still cycling until Prague where I want to stay for I think in a neighborhood of a week maybe two weeks but it really depends on how I like the city and I've heard that it's really busy there so uh, yeah we'll see about that anyways let's get some miles in oh yeah in a tiny village, small village road, but well, we made it to the Czech Republic. <laughs> Craziness. The last one guys, the last border crossing, or the last land border crossing, probably for this year. This guy is just chilling right on the border, it's like right there. It's pretty cool to have your house on the border. <laughs>
I think that was the least amount of suburb I've ever cycled through to get to a city this big. Like right behind me, that's where I came from. And behind there is only like, I was on a cycle path uh, following a river, so that might be the reason, but no suburbs whatsoever. All right now we're dead in the center, look at this. Of course you got your KFC. Beautiful city. Hmm, the plan was not so great. I just, uh, I booked an, a pension, but it's about six kilometers outside of the center into the Prague direction. So if I want to visit the city tomorrow, uh, I would have to cycle six kilometers to the center and then six kilometers back. I'm not really into that, so I'm just gonna make my way there. It's a nice city though, it's pretty, pretty nice. It's pretty quiet though. That's what I noticed compared to other cities, the third largest city. Maybe it's because it's Sunday today, but uh, the main square didn't really have too many people or too much life going on. Anyway, so yeah, it's about, it's even more, it's 12 kilometers to this other place that I'm staying at tonight. So I'm just gonna make my way there and then tomorrow I'll have a, have a rest day, work day. And then for the next couple of days, I've got a little challenge. And tonight at my pension, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what that challenge is. I'll see you guys at my pension. I made it. Wee. Nice place. Got some imagery and some more imagery. And the uh, price is pretty good as well. I think about, um, well, effectively 33 euros for two nights. So that's uh, 16 and a half a night. Oh, the view is quite good as well. Look at that. You can see the Carpathians in the, in the distance. I've been riding along the Carpathians for the past. You know, since uh, Kuzikawa, we've been riding along the Carpathians. Have your own room, you only don't have a kitchen, but that's shared. Right here, this is the shared area. Got a kitchen right there. And here your own fridge, sort of. Quite nice. Ooh, and I can fill up with my salt and pepper, that's good. <laughs> I'm out of salt and pepper, so that's quite nice, because they all don't have them in such small quantities at the supermarket. Anyway, so yeah, cheap, pretty good. But I want to do a challenge for when I leave this place, which is in two days. And that is, I want to spend a zero on accommodation until Prague. In Prague, I'm probably going to do a hostel again. But until Prague, which is about 450 kilometers, I want to do just free accommodation. So that's going to be or couch surfing, or showers, or wild camping. And I think wild camping is going to be most of it. The reason I want to do that is because I... I get comfortable in these kind of conditions and then I do not a whole lot with the time that I'm here. So I try to push myself to uh, get to do different things and I think that's a good approach in life. Push yourself. I mean, I, you know guys, I've been pushing myself quite a bit, but still, at times I do feel I get into like a comfort level, but I shouldn't and I should just keep going and I think that will only benefit me in the future when I go to Australia or any of that sort of place so yeah that's a challenge it's gonna be a tough one i get scared but uh yeah it's gonna be a nice one i think maybe i will get i can get some exp uh, interesting experience doing it and uh but yeah we'll see first the mission for this place is to prepare myself for those let's say six or seven days of cycling without paying for accommodation because i know it's gonna be a bit hard All right now that's still the mission guys it's sustainability and after sustainability after that's done I'm gonna invest everything into this channel because as you know the growth has been steady a bit too steady like 100 subscribers a month or something like that if I'm lucky which is not a whole lot of people uh, I really want to get this channel to explode and get into the mainstream media because I personally think that what I'm doing is really cool and that's why I'm doing it right <laughs> and I want you guys to do something like this as well you know, and that's what I'm trying to uh, get across with uh, this stuff. So, so you can head over to my Patreon if you haven't already considered donating. And the cool thing about those donations is that everything that you donate is actually an investment in this YouTube thing. The, all the money that gets donated goes directly into my life, you could say, which is this vlog. Like, that's a big part of it. So yeah, for example, all the donation money goes to my PayPal account. 
Now my PayPal account I also used to buy to buy this sort of stuff. So this has been made possible by you guys and that's I think really cool. Uh, I also want to update the quality of the vlog because I still use the same camera. Maybe I want to upgrade the camera but of course right now I have zero money for that. But in the future I hope to be able to do something with that as well. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Just some thoughts, some, some thoughts that I've been having after a long, tiring day of cycling. Yeah, I'm gonna have a good night rest here. Got two beds. So I just leave first night in this bed, second night in that bed. I'm not gonna do that, but still, I have the possibility. You can see yeah, I'm, I'm really tired. I'm really, actually really tired. But anyways, that's it for this video. Please like it if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy today's relive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.